Are we having fun? Are we accelerating into this? Yeah, I'm pretty certain we are. Excel is awesome. I'm not going to lie. It's one of my favorites. So we need to learn a little bit more stuff in Excel, it looks like. It looks like we're going to be making changes and using Excel to answer questions and even making a couple of graphs. There's nothing wrong with a good graph. Yeah, I quite like them as, as wallpaper. Yeah. It's a, it's a little weird, but meh. Anyway, let's get into it. Let's have a look at this brief. Okay. So let's have a look at the brief, right? So it's looking like we need to change the 2018 snack forecast from a 15% reduction to a 25% reduction. Well, that's easy. So what we want to do, we'll double click on our 2018 forecast and where it says N4 times 0.85, well, we're increasing how much well, we're decreasing how much this person's going to be eating. So we're going to be taking 25% away instead of 15%. So that's going to change 0.85 to 0.75. Does that make sense? I'm pretty sure it makes sense. Because if you're taking away 25% from 100, you're going to have 75% left, or 0 0.75. So if we go ahead and press enter, that's going to change that number. And then, we're just going to drag it down to the bottom here. Now what you may have noticed is when we did that, a whole bunch of numbers over in S, T, U, V, they all changed as well. And that's because all of these equations, they're all related. So anything that used the 2018 forecast in an equation, the numbers that those equations were using have changed. So of course the answers are going to change as well. So just by changing 0.85 to 0.75, it's changed everything over here. And essentially that's amazing because it means we don't have to worry about it at all. Now, I'm going to go ahead and make this look pretty. So, yeah. What I might do is I might format some of these cells, highlighting them, right click, format, change them to numbers and let's say two decimal points okay just so that the numbers are a little nicer you know they're a little bit easier to look at I'm also going to make sure that all of my stuff has spaces and blah 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 I'm gonna go and make it look pretty essentially but first I'm gonna have a look at the graphs that the brief is wanting me to make. It looks like I need to have two graphs. The first one is a column graph showing the difference in snack consumption for all types of snacks between 2017 and 2018. So I want to make a column graph using these numbers and these numbers. Like our snack types we're going to highlight our 2017 totals for each snack and 2018 forecast. This is going to give us a visual representation of the difference between the two. So we go insert and then we go column graph and just hit the first one. So now this is our column graph. It's looking okay but it's looking a little bit empty at the moment. Eh? So up here, we might just pick one that has a title, the axes, and a key. Joyce. 
So let's say, let's rename some of these axes. Amount eaten per year and snack types. You can also make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to see. <coughs> So now we've got, you can see that we've got our snack types down here and we've got the amount eaten per year up here. But there's something missing. We don't know which color is which year. So we actually have to select the series. So we click on the legend, select data, We want to click series one and we want to edit it and call it 2017. Okay. Then we hit series two and we go edit and we call it 2018. Then we go okay. And that's our graph, guys. That is how you make a nice graph in Microsoft Excel. Now, you're not going to want to keep it here with your spreadsheet. You're going to want to have it in its own sheet. So all you do is you hit move chart and you just pop it into you know, new sheet chart 1. You can change the name. So let's call it column chart. Cool. Okay, now it's moved into its own sheet called column chart. And to get back to our spreadsheet, we just go sheet one and we're back. Now we need a pie chart showing a comparison of the total consumption of each snack eaten through all of 2017. We go insert pie chart, and that's it. But, yeah, that's not right, because we wanted it with one of these. Okay, choice. And then, just call it Nice job. Sussed.